Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to show you how to remove the headlight on a Chrysler PD Cruiser. We are doing the right side but it's identical for the left side. So we need to remove the grill first. You, you can click on the video to see how to do that. And now right here we have the video on our channel. Now right here you have one bolt, one screw and one on the other side with a 7mm socket. Right there. So we need to remove those two first. Okay, now, now right here we need to remove that uh, fender underliner piece, half of it. So there is three, three clips, plastic clips. So you need to pull the center piece out and then the outside piece come out, like that. And we already got them new, so we save you some time right there. Okay, now on the inside of the bumper, right there, you have two nuts, one there and one where the socket is. With a 10 millimeter socket, you will need to remove those nuts. So, okay, one of them came off, and now we're getting the second one off. They're usually not very tight, but sometimes they get corroded there. It depends if you drive the car in snow and ice. Okay, right there, the second one. And now we need to go to the driver's side and we need to turn the tire to the right so we can access the clips on this side and we remove them. Okay, we have three clips again here, but as you can see ours is missing because that piece was loose. Somebody didn't put the clips and it was rubbing against the tire, so it's melted now and it's not there anymore. And again, on the inside of the bumper, we have two more nuts with 10 millimeter socket, just identical like the passenger side. Okay, one of them is off and now the second one. Okay, now all we need to do is just pull the bumper down, right there in the corner, the bolts are holding it. And come on this side and it already got loose. And as you can see the bumper came right off. So first you need to remove the grill and the bumper and then right here underneath it there is one nut right there with a 10 millimeter socket. It's a little hard to get to but if you, if you cannot get to it but with normal socket it's easy to get to and it's not very tight you have to remove the underliner if you want more space. And now right here on the top, in the corner, right there, there is another nut with a 10 millimeter wrench that we need to do. They usually get very loose. Okay, now we need to remove that lid there. It's kind of like a cap on the, end, uh, the fender underliner. That's where you replace the light bulb if you need to. And right there, now, there is one more nut. It's really hard to show you guys. Right there with a... Okay, right there with a 10 millimeter wrench. So we need to take this one off. And now right there, we have one more. That's between the two bulbs. Let me show you. This is the fourth one. The fourth nut with a 10 millimeter socket and a little extension. You can reach it. Just careful, even if you drop it, it's gonna fall on the underliner and you'll be able to catch it. Okay, and now this should be the last one holding the headlight. So we should be able just to pull it out of there now. Okay, like that, right there. The only thing holding it is the wires right now. So if you need to remove them, you can just unhook them pretty simple procedure. Thank you guys for watching us. Please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe for about five new videos every week.